I'm Steve for This Week With Cars, and I've been really busy uh, making some videos for you. I don't have any of those ready right now, so I just wanted to do a quick video uh, about the dyno, and then I'll just show you some random dyno runs of things that I've dynoed. So let's check out what's behind me, and no, it's not the car, it's what's behind that. The first thing that you do when you want to dyno a car is drive the car up the ramps and onto the lift. And then from there, the car will need to be raised up on the lift to the level of the dyno. And then if this is a rear wheel drive car, you'll put the rear wheels on top of the roller wheel here on the dyno. And then when the power is applied to the wheels, it will spin this as if it's driving on the road. Now this drum weighs thousands of pounds and it has been very accurately weighed and they use that weight as calibration to see how much power that the car is making. I have an optional thing called an eddy brake over here, and mine is electric. And that allows me to apply a force onto the roller so I can keep the car at a constant speed, I can apply a force to the car, I can apply a certain horsepower, I can keep a car at a certain speed. There's a lot of things that I could do with the eddy brake uh, over just a basic dyno for measuring horsepower and torque. Another thing that I have on this dyno is a wideband O2 sensor. And this here is a vacuum pump. It can either uh, suck the exhaust right out of the exhaust pipe, or I can mount an O2 sensor on the exhaust of the car. And then I can see exactly how it's tuned and how it's running. From the dyno itself, the data will travel across a set of cables over to the bench here to this device, which is then connected to the computer, which will do all of the logging of things like engine speed, how much power it's creating, uh, it, the O2 sensor data and it will use that information to do the calculations such as for torque which uses engine horsepower and engine speed to determine how much torque you've produced. After all that is done it will display a graph and you can view horsepower, torque and any other variable that you logged both over the engine speed or over time. That was a really short introduction on what a dyno is and how it works. I hope you enjoy the sounds of these dyno runs, and I hope to have the videos that I've been working on out very shortly. Remember, if you like this channel and you want to support me, click the subscribe button.